Hi everyone, I'm Kim and today I'm doing Vlogmas Day 16. And what I thought I'd do is instead of showing you all the projects that I made, well, except for one, I'm going to show you one that I worked on today. I'm going to show you a lot of projects I haven't completed and these are not things that, um, they, they're things that have sat around for years, some of them many years. But I thought I'd show those to you guys just so you know that not every project do I finish. <laughs> some I get frustrated and some I just get to a point where I don't finish it. But I thought I'd share those with you too. So the first one I'm going to show you is a whip or a work in progress. And this is what I was working on today. And it's this. Let me come close so you can see it. It's a poinsettia. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see if it'll focus. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's focusing to me. Let me grab my glasses. And I'm not finished with it, but you can see right here what it's going to look like. I just have to fill in the dark red and the um, green, a few little green branches, and this one will be done, and I've got the frame for it, so I can either put it on a package or hang it on the tree, so that's one project I was working on today, but now I'm going to show you some of the projects I haven't finished, and I've got them sitting here. I'll start with this one project. It's a scarf, and it was a mystery knit-along for uh, the Rose City Yarn Crawl, which comes up, I think it starts in February, and this was part of the mystery, mystery along. And so I started it, and I got pretty far. Um, let's see if you can see it. Oh. It's been in this bag for a few years, so that's why it's kind of crinkly. And I've still got my needles in there. <clears throat> it's a circular needle. And I could finish it. I have the yarn right here. They're beautiful yarns. It's this, let me show you. These two really beautiful, this kind of a dove gray and then this multicolored purples. But it's supposed to get to a part where there's like bobbles on it. And I just, I think I was right at the part where it was going to start getting interesting. And then I just got bored and stopped. And I put it in this bag, and it's been in this bag, I don't know, probably probably four years, <laughs> so that's one project, but that's not my oldest project. I also have, let's see, what other projects I have that I haven't finished? Oh, I got this really fun, fun yarn. Well, it's more like paper, and I started, I know it's in here. I've got a lot of yarn in here, a lot of different projects in here, but, or wannabe projects. Let me see, where's my glasses so I can find it? I've got this <clears throat> beautiful cotton blue, <laughs> and I've got some um, nice Ada cross-stitch uh, material. I'm just showing you what's in the bag. I've got this Donegal yarn. It was spun by um, Donegal Yarns, Kilcar Company, Donegal. And it's this beautiful Aran tweed in this green. And it's got speckles of orange. And then I've got this really beautiful yarn that I haven't ever decided what to do with. 
It's this beautiful mohair. I haven't even caked it up. Look at this. This is these are so pretty. <clears throat> Can you see that? I don't even it it doesn't even look as pretty on the screen as it is. It's really beautiful. But that's a mohair. And then to go with that, I got this really pretty kind of a whitish gray mohair. But I have never decided what to do with them. So they're just sitting here waiting. And then <clears throat> I've got. I did make my son a scarf out of this. This is Marisol, looks like Ushia. It's a 98% um, wool, 2% polyamide. And it's a really pretty blue. And it's a thick, thick, really nice yarn. And I made my son a scarf, and he loves it, but I haven't decided what to do with that. And then, oh, the product I thought was in here isn't in here, but there is some of the yarn. And the yarn is kind of this paper yarn. It must be in one of these other bags, so I have two skeins of it right here. This is called um, Habu Textile. And it's more like a paper than a yarn to me. Let me put these back in here. They're waiting for me to find their purpose. <laughs> and then, oh here it is. Here's the one I was working on. For the fall, I was going to make this into a scarf, and I was using, I'm doing a lace kind of pattern down at the bottom with the paper yarn, and then doing this really nice orange and green, which have gotten very tangled up in here. I also have this lighter green that goes with that. And then I've got this beautiful, soft, I think it's a self-striping yarn. And I have some of these little granny squares, kind of granny squares, that I haven't done anything with. I have a couple big ones, too. Good night. Good night. That's another project that I started for the fall, and I didn't finish it. So, let me see what else is here. So, you know, when you start a project, it, sometimes you get really excited about it, and you get going on it, and sometimes you get it a long ways, and then you're, you lose that spark, I guess yarn coming off this one that is tangled in here, but I'll straighten that out later. So I have all these beautiful yarns that I had plans for, and some I didn't have plans for, I just couldn't resist the yarn. And then I started a pair of socks with this really pretty, isn't that pretty? I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll come close. But I'm doing these two. I did this for the the cuff. And I was going to do use that for the toe. And then this beautiful striping yarn. And I got way down here. And then I thought... Oh my gosh, 
uh, no one's ever going to see these <laughs> if I wear them. And so I thought maybe I'll make them into fingerless gloves instead because then I think people would see them. And then I couldn't make up my mind and put them in this bag. <laughs> so that's another one. And then I got, oh, I was making this hat for a little kid, and I was knitting and crocheting it. And else I had to do to finish it was put the top on it, a flat, and, and I still could. I just haven't done it. But look, it isn't that pretty. This yarn, in particular, the, the brim, I think is so pretty. Let me see if I can come close so you can see it. <clears throat> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And by now, I think the um, kid is too big <laughs> to um, wear this. But we do have a new baby in the family, so, you know, never say never. I might finish it. So there's another one. And then I have these fingerless gloves I started. And let's see how far I was on these. So, I think I was at the thumb, yeah, I was at the thumb, and I started pulling it out because what happened was um, I had gotten this far, and then I asked my mother-in-law to help me with it, something. I was having an issue, and so I asked her to help me, and another, all the needles are popping out and she started just ripping out all the stitching and she said oh this is all done the wrong way it's done the American way I'm like well I'm American <laughs> and she said oh no it's all backwards and she just started pulling it out and then she started doing it a different way and I didn't know the way she was doing it it was like she was holding everything backwards to me and so I, I just put it in the bag when she left. I said, thank you, and put it in the bag, and I never finished it. And I feel like I should at least put the needles back in, because then there's the possibility that I'll pick it back up. Um, but some of the needles are falling out. Let's see. You can see that... Um, and it may be that she was pulling it out here. I don't know. I don't know. This was a few years ago. And I just got discouraged because then I didn't know what to do. I had a question, I think, about the thumb, the thumb hole. And she didn't like the way I was holding my needles. And just started pulling out everything I'd done. And I'm not a fast knitter. I mean, I know some people, they could fix it in a heartbeat, you know, but that's not me. And so I just stopped. But I feel like I should go back and finish it. Of course, now, if I was going to do fingers, <laughs> this is a thing with me. You get to a point and then you feel like, oh, let's see, there's one, two, three. I need one more. You get to a point where you're like, oh, I don't like this color now. <laughs> and so I'm thinking if I was going to do some gloves, I'd want it to be maybe a self-striping yarn or just something pretty like my socks, you know, something that you would really um, love. This is kind of just a tan color. I don't know. You know, I probably was making them so I could wear them 
to work and be not so not so much of a pop of color it's just useful and now I think I'd like the pop of color <laughs> so I don't know when I pull these things out then I think oh I, I could finish this why don't I just finish it and then I'll put it back in the bag and I won't finish it but maybe one day you know, who knows? You never know what you're going to end up finishing. Uh, so, I have, of course, and I think everybody has, failures, flops, and unfinished objects. So, there's another one, another unfinished object. But I do, the yarn is really soft and nice, so I'm tempted to go back to it. <laughs> And then let me see what else I have. Okay, so then I have a sweater I started. I have these great big balls of yarn that a friend gave me. I have lots of them. And I've got it on a circular needle. And I've got it like this far. I don't know if you can see that but all I need to do is go up a little bit more because this will come almost around me and do a back panel and the arms and this has sat in here for years and I have a whole bunch more yarn in here Seeing if I had any other projects in here. But that's my start of my sweater. And then I did have a red pair of fingerless gloves. I thought I had those out here that I'd started. They're kind of like uh, these. I'm sure they're out here somewhere. Oh, maybe they're in this bag right here. I've got all these bags sitting here. Yep. I have this red yarn. And I started some fingerless gloves. And then I wasn't happy with it. So I started pulling it out right here. And so I never finished that. And yet I thought, oh, maybe I should stop and just finish it. But I haven't. So there's two pairs of fingerless gloves, a sweater, a scarf, a hat, and then this one. I was I made a hat for a friend. And <laughs> it was out of this yarn, which I thought was so much fun. Let me see if you can see. And I'd made the hat. And then I took it to her and I said, oh my gosh, this thing weighs like 20 pounds. This yarn is really heavy. And so I said to her, I know you're not going to want to wear this because it's just, it's going to probably hurt your neck and shoulders. <laughs> so I started pulling it out. I did make her a different hat. <laughs> so I made her another hat and it turned out fine. And I think I might have made her daughter a matching one too. But there was this yarn and this yarn. And I thought, well, maybe I could make it into a scarf, you know? I could make it into a scarf. And so, I think I started the gray. Let's see if I have this in here. So I was gonna make, yeah, I was gonna make a scarf. But I felt like, this feels, it's really soft. It's really nice yarn. But I thought, I'm gonna feel like I have like a, duster around me. So I haven't finished anything with this, but I was thinking I could use this for little gnome beards. I think this would be a great beard. <laughs> um, but I also have this really, this must have been what I made her the hat out of afterwards. Let me show you the difference. Um, 
because she likes purple. So I had made her a hat out of this, and then I ended up making a hat out of this, and this was what was left. I, I'm never good at calculating how much yarn I'll need, so I tend to get too much, because I figure I can always use it on a different project. But those are just my yarn projects that I haven't finished. So I just didn't want you guys to think that every single project I start, I finish and I gift it or I give it away or I keep it because <laughs> I don't. I've had cake fails. I've had, um, obviously, some yarn fails. And I've had, um, well, the cakes and the yarn are the biggest ones. I also sew, and I made a, my sister and I were doing a summer event, and I thought, oh, I can make us a, a cute little vest, and we can bedazzle it. So I made the vest, and then she said, oh, put that thing away. She didn't like it at all. So we bought uh, dresses, and we bedazzled those, which is just putting gemstones on them. But I thought you guys might enjoy a day of hearing about some of the projects I haven't finished or some of the fails and flops and UFOs that I have sitting around my house. And these are just a few of them. I, I have a pair of sweatpants I was going to make for my husband, and I cut them all out. And then I don't know what I did with part of the pieces. I think I must have put them in another bag because then when I went to sew it, I only had part of the pants, so they're sitting upstairs unfinished. So maybe one day I'll find those other pieces and be able to finish that project. But I don't know, do you guys ever have projects you don't finish or that languish around your house for years? <laughs> I doubt it. I, I'm probably the only one that has tons of projects sitting here haunting me. But I just wanted to share that with you because the holidays can get busy and we might uh, just feel that besides being overwhelmed that we should have gotten more done. And I always feel like I should have gotten more done. I was working on the little, my little poinsettia today and I was thinking, you know, this is a great project for a beginner because I really want to encourage any beginning crafter to start with super simple projects, you know, ones that you can do in, like this one. You could do this in an evening and actually feel some accomplishment that you've, um, you know, finished something. Like I did, well, I've done a few of them, but this would be an easy one. And I'm just trying to see if there's any more that I think would be super simple. There are super simple ones here. Uh, and they're all simple, but um, some are simple, you know, simpler than others, like this one, the candy cane. And these, you, you could do it and do it in an evening and then frame it the next day and really feel, you know, oh, I made something and be able to give it as a gift and be happy about it. Don't start with a super hard project that, you know, like not that this is super hard, but one that's going to take you many weeks. Like I did, um, my sister and I did some thing for Halloween. I did witch hats and she did the witch um, shoes. And I don't know if she's finished hers yet. And it's been, I think, two Halloweens now. And so I'm just saying, start with a simple, simple project that you can make sure you're going to take it all the way to the completion so that you can gift it or do whatever you want with it. But anyway, I just wanted you to know you're not the only one that doesn't get everything done that you wanted to. In fact, I have a calendar that I've been putting out what I want to get done each day so I can check it off and feel some accomplishment. But just remember, you're supposed to enjoy these crafting things and the holidays, and that's more important than getting everything done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, that you'll join me, you know, subscribe to my channel, join me for the rest of, we've got, let's see, we've got four and four more days, eight days of um, Vlogmas left, so, because it goes through the 24 days until Christmas, 
and I should play, um, you know, the 12 Days of Christmas twice <laughs> and have that on my Vlogmas. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll join me tomorrow for the next one, which will be day 17. So if you did enjoy this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And, you know, let me know if you guys have any projects that you've been working on for years. And, you know, like I, I also have like a baby blanket that I've been working on for years. And what your projects are. I'd love to hear some of the languishing projects you have. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and will come back and join me tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. And if not, happy holidays and thanks for watching. Bye!